Hello, shake bear to yesterday. It's boys and men. What you guys know about boys and men? What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. And as of now, the Nintendo eShop is officially gone. Uh, April third. It was originally going to be March twenty seventh, but April third, Nintendo finally pulled the plug on the Wii U and the three DS. So you can re-download a lot of the games that you bought in the past, but. If you're trying to buy anything new, that's going to be a no bueno. And this is something I've been really want to make a video about because there's only but so much I can talk about on like, you know, social media and whatnot. But it's something that I'm very passionate about, especially someone like myself who enjoys making videos and topics on, you know, introducing folks to video games. The last thing I would ever want to do is introduce a video game that's unaccessible to my audience. It's one of the reasons why I'm a big fan of emulation. If I talk about, say, Cannon Spike on the Dreamcast, you don't have to go on eBay and buy a copy of Cannon Spike. Go on Redream, download it, and play it on your phone or PC. It's amazing. So someone like myself who wants games to be very accessible to people and enjoys video game preservation and feels like this is, this is art, this is a part of history, it baffles my mind how video games don't fit the same media criteria say like movies or music could you imagine if star wars a new hope came out only in theaters and say someone like myself who was born in 1985 completely missed out on it because i was just born a couple years too late but you had folks on social media who were like hey the wii u's been out since 2012 if you haven't downloaded these games yet then i'm sorry it looks like you missed out what about the folks who just found out about the wii u a couple years ago and not to mention the wii u itself it's breaking Physical media does not last forever. There are people uploading videos of how to bring their Wii U's back to life because the, the power capacitor or whatever it is, it's inside of it, it's dying. It, it, they're, they're pretty much dying at this point. And that's a huge problem. That's a huge problem if you're someone who enjoys video games that wants to find games of the past. You know, 20 years from now, the Wii U's may not work. The eShop's not going to be accessible. There's a, there's a lot of games that's going to be lost in, in the sands of time. And that's a huge problem. Now... Back in 2013, when I had my Wii U, I think a lot of folks can agree who were Wii U owners. They enjoyed the console, but it was a hard as hell console to defend. You were defending it tooth and nail to the same folks that bought a Switch and bought all the ports for the Wii U that completely forgot, hey, these games are actually kind of cool. Or think about the Wii. Think about Castlevania Adventure Rebirth, one of the last great Castlevania games from Konami. It's no longer accessible because the Wii shop has been it's been long gone for a while. So how do we fix this? Piracy and emulation. Listen, I know that's a terrible word for a lot of gamers. A lot of folks are like, that's illegal. You're going to go to jail for that. Emulation is not illegal. ROMs, it gets into the gray area. But let me tell you guys, I modded my Wii U back in 2017 because I knew at some point Nintendo was going to say, hey, we're no longer going to have this shop open anymore. Let's pull the plug. And modding a Wii U, modding a 3DS is not that hard, folks. You don't have to take the consoles apart. You don't have to solder anything. You just have to get yourself an SD card, pull up a video on YouTube, and just follow directions. But I'll, I'll say a modded Wii U is godsend. It allows me to play GameCube games, a Wii games, uh, a lot of region locked games because the Wii U wasn't region free and of course you have the dolphin emulator which is actually about to start coming out for the steam deck and steam so yeah it's it's kind of crazy that unless it's us rebuying the games over and over again a lot of video game companies have no way to kind of preserve their legacy if i can go on a website that hasn't been active since 1993 then why can't Nintendo just keep the eShop open? And if you don't want to keep it open, have it some way accessible for folks that download it legacy-wise. I mean, I can download games on GOG of old DOS games, companies that aren't even around anymore and play those games, yet I'm buying Super Mario Bros. 3 for the 70th time. And I know some folks like myself who enjoy to rebuy a lot of these games are the problem, and I'm a hypocrite, I'll admit it, but, you know... It just sucks. It's horrible. 
it's such a terrible circumstance, but unfortunately right now when it comes to home console gaming, it, it's it's the norm. And hopefully we'll see something change. I mean, especially even more so because with the eShop closing down, I'm thinking in the back of my mind, we're getting a new we're getting a new Nintendo console. Rather it be a Switch 2, Switch Up, whatever. We're having a new console and I'm thinking how long is the games on my Switch going to be functional? How long, how long is it going to be? Now, granted, the Switch has already been modded, and I will say when it comes to piracy, if you have a way to support it, support it. I wouldn't personally uh, mod my Switch and download Switch games illegally that way, uh, but years from now, I'm going to be very happy that those games will be available when it's no longer available to buy from Nintendo themselves. But what do you guys think about this? What, what do you guys think about the eShop closing down? Leave a comment below. What was some of your favorite games you found on the eShop? I'd love to hear some of your thoughts and opinions. I mean, my, my one of my favorite games on the 3DS that I downloaded was Gunman Clive. I mean, thankfully, Gunman Clive 1 and 2 is available on the Switch, but that would be a game that would be lost forever. That would be a game that you would no longer be able to access anymore because the eShop is no longer available. Folks, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear some of your uh, thoughts and opinions. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. But also hit that bell so you're notified on all future videos and live streams coming out on this channel. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, happy gaming.